Club Express, customizing the look and feel of your website. Common content. Your website is one of the ways that members and non-members view and interact with your organization's content and people. So what you display on the site and how you present the content is important. You want it to reflect your organization's priorities and style. Club Express gives you many tools to create content and also to configure the look and feel of your site. There's a video that's an overview of the tools available on the Control Panel's website tab, and there are separate videos that go into detail about each of the modules. This video looks at how the Common Content module allows you to edit content that's common to every page. Website layouts may be defined with one or more additional content boxes. For example, most templates with a vertically oriented menu on the left side of the page will have a content box for the area below the menu. Whatever is specified in these common content areas will appear on every page of your website. For example, you might need to make sure an important or timely announcement appears on every page. In this case, you might activate the top of page content area to display your message and then deactivate it when it's no longer needed. We're already logged into one of our demo sites as an administrator. So we can go to the control panel, click on the website tab, scroll down to the setup section and click on common content. The current layout doesn't have any special areas reserved for common content and we'll change the layout soon. On this screen, each row describes a content box's position and has recommended width and height. This information is provided as a guideline to help you maintain a reasonable look and feel on the website. For each row, status can be not defined, active, not active, or not in use. Not defined means that no content has been created for this area. Active means that it is visible, and not active means that it's hidden. If you previously used a layout that used content areas that are not part of the current layout, those areas will be flagged as not in use. These areas can still be edited and are available if you change to a layout that does include those areas. There are several icons in the Maintain column. Click Create to define content for a content box that is not defined. The standard content editor will be displayed, allowing you to place any content into the content box. Be sure to define the content that is the right shape for the box. For example, the area under a left side menu should have content that is narrow so that the menu is not pushed too wide on the page. When content is first created, it is deactivated. Click the activate icon to make the content visible on your website. Click the deactivate icon to hide currently showing content. This feature is especially suitable for seasonal content. Click the edit icon to edit the existing content in the content box. Click the delete icon to remove the contents of the content box completely, and the status will change to not defined. And although not shown in this demo site, if you've enabled the banner advertising option for your website, there is an icon that leads to the ad manager screen. For more information, see chapter two in the extra cost features manual. When you're finished, click Done to return to the control panel. Now let's change the current layout to one that includes some common content areas. Clicking on Website Look and Feel puts us into preview mode when no changes will take effect until the Apply button is pressed. Clicking on the Layout button in the Site Editor toolbar lets us choose from all the layouts available for the current template. Let's temporarily switch to a different template to see the layouts available for that template. This template has menus on the left side, and when we look at the possible layouts, we see common content areas under the menu and optionally on the right side. Now let's revert back to the site's previous template and choose a layout that includes common content on the right side. Previously created common content areas now appear on all pages. You may need to use the site editor's tools to adjust the widths to accommodate the content areas. When a layout with common content areas is selected and you go back to the common content module, you can create, 
activate or deactivate content areas as necessary for that layout. You may also notice that depending on the layout, the names of the common content areas used in other layouts might change in the listing to reflect its use in the current layout. It's important to note that custom content boxes are not displayed when the user is accessing your website using a browser on a smartphone or a tablet in the default mobile view. However, common content boxes will display in desktop view. Desktop view can be useful because it also includes all of the administrative tools normally found when viewing on a computer. For a mobile view, you can use the mobile setup option in the control panel to create two special content boxes, one at the top of the home screen and the other at the bottom, and these only display on mobile devices. So now you've seen how configuring the common content areas that appear within and outside of your current layout gives you an easy way of surfacing content on every page of your website. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.